guys. It's your girl, Receivers, coming at you with another video. Um, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell another friend, tell somebody else to tell their mama, their mama's best friend, and all of them, they hairdresser, they a barber, because we lady over here. Um, so in today's video, y'all, it was a special request from one of the family members. Um, so I'm going to post probably somewhere around here. Um, I think when I first did my video of my dupe collection, I want to say I had two purses that kind of stood out because of their appearance, because I had sequence patches. Um, so someone asked to, you know, basically show you guys how I, um, you know, got inspired with the idea and maybe show an example. So without further ado, um, you're going to need the basics. So you're definitely going to need the clear Gorilla Glue, which is something that you need. These come in two different sizes. This is in a 1.7 fluid ounce and a 5 point, um, 5.75 fluid ounce. Definitely something that you need. Or you can use the, what is it, the E... 3000 it's another type of gorilla glue but just use this one it's just basic and you can order this from amazon i'll definitely try to link everything down below because everything in this video that i'm using is from amazon everything 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 so we got this um we have patches we're going to go over that next and then y'all i purchased this little um dupe situation off of amazon so we're going to unbox it you're not going to see me today and today i'm looking a little crazy anyway so y'all just gonna see these hands. They probably a little ashy, but I wash my hands because I just wash my hands. So we're going to cut everything out the package. I left everything taped up and stuff. I just took out the Amazon package so I can unbox this one here for y'all. And y'all, hopefully by the time y'all get this, that this purse still be in stock. Um, they had two versions of this purse by different sellers. I'll link them both down below. Um, no, this does not have a logo, so y'all know Amazon, sometimes they call themselves not being on stuff, and sometimes they do, but I guess they wasn't on it this time, so they don't have the logos, but this is their designer dupe of the LV Matisse, so this was, I want to say only 24 bucks, as you can see, like, it's a big size, because y'all see I got some big huns, um, it's like the Petite, y'all, I'm gonna keep this on, just because I don't want to get any glue on it, which I doubt I'm getting any glue on it, but just to be on the safe side, um, yes, so this is piece that's how it look on the side it has the gold hardware in the back it has the functional pocket and y'all this is a good alternate to have functional pocket with the the brown um pocket it has the top handle strap that y'all know the famous matisse has and you know you open it by yeah clicking the side because you know it's like a lock Hold on, y'all. Come on, camera. Are you are you in focus? Okay, thank you. The inside, it does come with a strap. And the strap is in the same uh, type of print like this. And y'all, it has the two compartments. There's no pocket in the inside. Hopefully y'all are y'all able to see this. I don't know why my phone is not focusing. It's acting like real crazy. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Focus. Focus on me. Focus on me. So yeah, we got the two pockets, or the two pockets, but it don't have pockets like on the sides. So there we go. So yeah, y'all, this was only 24 bucks. Pretty cute. And I want to say the other one is like the monogram type. Um, it doesn't have the, you know, the LVs. None of them have the LV logo. So if that's what you're looking for, you know, you got to hit up Old Faithful in them, which is your DHA and your AliExpress. But when it comes to this, okay, make sure it's still recording. When it comes to this, it does not have the logos at all, y'all. Not at all. And um, so yeah, we have this right here. So you want to pick any purse that you want. Once you put these patches on y'all, they're going to stay there unless you rip them off. And then once you rip them off, it's going to ruin the purse. So you want to pick a purse that you don't mind these patches staying on for forever. You know, unless you take the patch off and replace it with something bigger where you can't see, you know, whatever the case may be. But you want to pick a purse, whether it's something new, something old. Um, I don't know if you want to go with something like name brand or something. I would say first start off with a purse that you don't care about. In case you do get glue, you know, somewhere in the seams and stuff like that. So pick a purse that you don't care about that you wouldn't mind messing up. So we got that purse. And this is not a long process, y'all. So I also purchased these patches on um, Amazon. Now, I didn't purchase the sequence one because as y'all can see in the pictures I'm going to be showing, both of the uh, other purses I have have sequence patches. I just wanted to go with something not too shiny. And this was for $7. You got... It tells you to use the orange zone, but you don't have to because you're going to be going them on. I want to say for seven or it was like seven and some change, so just say eight dollars. I want to say it's like 50 or 60 patches, but I'll have it linked down below. So, wait, hold on, because I don't want to mess up the bag. Wait, how do you 
open this. Oh, there you go. So we're just going to first go through the different patch options. Um, I'm not sure what look I'm going for. <laughs> we just going to look. Um, so we got a lollipop. We got this thing right there. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, I'm just making sure y'all can see. Paw print. Smiley face. Uh, Mickey Mouse hand. Um, they gave me some thread. I guess that's like an extra. Okay, we love a good old extra in the bag. Um, so I'm thinking about using the smiley face. I'm not sure. Uh, we got a skate. Oh, we got the Aristocats. Oh, I definitely want to use that. We got this little horse, horsey thing. It's giving me like nursery vibes slash uh, Hermes bag vibes. Because I know I got the little horse, the horse keychain thing to be having. This alien. That's kind of cute. Now, y'all, these are the patches I picked for myself because... I like different stuff, but they have different stuff, whether you want them regular like this, or if you want them sequence, y'all, they have stuff for your nerves that you're into, whether you want food, um, clothing, um, sneakers, all types of stuff, like biker pack patches and just stuff that's just whatever you like, different strokes for different folks, whatever you're into, they got it. Not a mouse. Child. Cupcake. Is that like a bow? A fox, pineapple, seashell, and this little bear thing. I like that. Um, this is kind of cute. Now, as far as how many patches you want to put on there, it just depends on what look you're going for. It's like an airplane. Palm trees. Heart with a lightning bolt. That looks kind of cute. Strawberry. Hope I'm not going too fast for y'all. This is giving me real groovy vibes. Hot air balloon. Y'all know I'm definitely putting a sneaker on there. Pizza. I like pizza on there. That's the maybe pal. I don't know what this is. Mm. Some more thread. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, this is cute. Not the lips and the lipstick. Star. Another teddy bear. Alien. That's kind of cute. I don't know. Hold on, let me put this in the bag real quick. I'm not trying to make a mess. I'm trying to make sure I keep my space clean. This, a little, I think that's a bunny. This flower. That kind of is kind of cute. School bus. What is this? Is this a, is that a bell? Or like a satellite? I don't know. A dog. Oh, this is adorable. Peace sign. Ufology. Oh, okay. That's kind of cute. Oh, this is kind of cute, too. California's for lovers. That's cute. Stone Island. And this. Alright. So, yeah, I don't know which one I'm going to pick. Um, let me see. And then you want to kind of... Hold on. Let's get into the groove of the situation. So you want to place your canvas right here. And you want to kind of go with like the placement of where you would want to put things. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to be using everything. But it's just an idea. You do not have to put your placement like mine's. It's just this is how I choose to pick mine's. Hmm. You know, it's up to you if you want to overdo it, underdo it. I don't know if I'm going to put anything under the flat part because you're not going to see anything under here. So I'll probably just do, you know, everything up here. Um, let's see what our options are. I don't put, no, I don't put no pizza. Um, I don't put no UFO either. I don't know, y'all. I think that might be just enough. I don't know. What look am I going for? I'm not really going for a look. I don't know if I want like everything to mesh. California for lovers. I haven't even ever been to California. Let me stop that's kind of cute 
ufology. But I already got the uh, alien on here. I think that's cute. Don't want the peace on. Um. I don't know, y'all. I already got something green on here. Heart. Drop my polish on the floor. I'm trying to narrow it down. Is this the look that we're going to go for? I don't know. I don't know! You want to make sure you put it on the surface. You don't want to fake it off because you don't want it to get snagged on something. So we're going to leave, I guess, this coordinate, this quadrant alone. So this quadrant's done. Um, we're going to leave this quadrant alone. Now what we going to do up here, I think it's like a lot going on. I don't want to do too much. I'm not sure. Um, I'll leave that out. I'll leave that out. I don't know, y'all. We gonna um, slip inside, take it to the house, figure something out. So we're gonna do first. Of let me wipe this off. So first, I think that's cool, like right there. Or do I want to just, we just gonna do this part first y'all cause I'm like so indecisive right now, but I know I want it to be like radical. <laughs> so radical, tubular, total dude. <laughs> cause this is definitely giving me 90s vibes, the things that I picked, so. You want to take the part that you would normally uh, iron, iron, iron. Y'all, I'm country with a little bit bougetto, so some of my words may come off a little. They just might come off a little out there, but y'all know what I mean. I'm going to iron. <laughs> so the part that you would iron, you're just going to take that part, get the glue. Now sometimes this can get a little messy, but you're just going to darn it. Y'all, hold on. Since I got long nails, we're going to do it like that. And it's okay if you do get some glue somewhere. We just gonna get it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna put some some glue right here. So if you got long nails, just use some tweezers. In other words. See, I'm about to put it on backwards. And just give it a little pressure. I don't worry if you get this on your hands, it peels off. Um, so next we want to do the shoe. And then, oh, excuse me. And then from time to time, you just want to wipe this part off because the glue will kind of run to the side. And we're gonna do this. Just glue it on. Okay. 
Now we're going to do this one next. Matter of fact, let me cut some of this plastic off because I don't want it to stick to the plastic. Come on. And then you also want to double check how you're going to want your placement. I think I had it like that. Then you add a clue. And then I honestly would say when you're done with this, just let it dry for about a day. Just to make sure that the glue is fully dried. I'm not saying it's going to take a day to dry, but just to make sure that it's fully dried. And then also make sure that, you know, you gently press down on the areas that you're putting the patch on because you want to make sure that make sure that it sticks. Okay, so we're gonna put that one right there. I don't know, maybe if um I wouldn't recommend ironing these on. Um just because like different materials, you don't know if the adhesive is gonna ruin your material. So I would just say definitely use the glue. It's much easier. So we got that. Yeah, I still don't know what I'm about to place. Um, this little shiny part. Just to cover up that part with the glue. As you can see, nothing's fully, you know, dry because it's still moving. So when it don't move and it's still, that's how you know it's ready. And what am I going to put right here, y'all? I really don't have to put anything. Like, I think I've done enough. I really want to put one of these circle patches. Like if I don't know what something means, I'm not going to use it. This is Stone Island. I don't know. This could be something real or something fake, like a location. I don't know. So since I don't know what it means, California's for lovers. I think I'm going to put this just because I have the Aristocat and it's getting very much in love. But I want to make sure. Or do I even want to put anything at all? Focus. I don't know, y'all. We're going to go with California's for lovers because I'm just thinking like this part is just missing something. Very much something. So we're going to fix it. So 
Let me just wipe this glue off. Put that back on there. So y'all, this is the finished product. You could put stuff on the back, but I feel like since this is the back part is gonna be laid up against you when you're using your back, how that's laid up against your body, you're not gonna see the back part. But if you wanna, you know, put it on you know the back part or find smaller ones to put it, like across the lining of the purse. So that's what the I just say make sure the surface is flat so it can stay glued. And this is kind of cute. Not kind of, it definitely is. It's giving me like a patchwork type thing. I like we just want to put some, y'all. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Um, all right, y'all. I'm back. So we're gonna sit back. So we're gonna go back to the drawing board. I need to find a patch. Wait like this. I don't need to find one, but I want to find one that's small enough to fit right in this area, because that empty space is going to bother me. So, we're going to try to find one that's small. Something that's small, that's not a color that's already on here. Maybe, maybe not. But something that's going to bring it together. Something. There might be somebody somewhere saying, that's enough, that's more than enough. You don't need to put nothing there I'll leave it alone and i feel you i feel you on that but that's just not me maybe maybe so you know my thing is i'm the type of person i've always been extra always you know do more than what's probably necessary and um yeah don't let no one tell you that what you're doing or how you're doing it is incorrect or too much. You do yours how you want to do yours. I think that might be a winner winner chicken dinner. Uh oh, bad idea. The glue. The glue. No. Okay, now we definitely gotta find something to. Yikes. I wasn't even paying attention to the darn glue. But it's okay. It's okay. And that's enough glue for me to just put on there. Oh. Well, there's no need to do anything else. Because <laughs> I really wanted something else. Dang, man. I guess that's it. <laughs> that was short-lived. That's another thing. Don't use too much glue because if you got to stand something up or turn it around, it's just going to be there just pouring down. So. That's it. Put them back in the thing. Don't try to add nothing else. It's not a collage. Not a collage. Oh, that looks so cute. I'm just picking up stuff. Mm. Nope. Just stop it. <laughs> just stop it. I'm gonna wipe off my tweezers because I do not want them sticking together because these are some good tweezers. Alright, um, so this is the final look. I'm really digging it. Even though I wanted to make my own, put my own thing right there. So let me make sure this glue is off here because I don't want the bag sticking together. And this is going to dry clear. So if you do, you know, accidentally have any glue, like how I got that right there, it's going to dry clear. And y'all, this is the finished product. And yeah, this is my way of decorating mines. Uh, you don't have to actually, you know, do it this way like I did mine. This is just what I chose to do. You don't have to do this. They have different pass uh, passages. Wow, y'all, <laughs> my mind <laughs> is gone. But no, they have different. Pa uh, I'm about to say it again. Different patches for you know whatever you're looking for. If you're trying to go with like a theme, focus. 
if you're trying to go with like a theme or if I don't know like they had um Pooh and Tigger like the whole Pooh clan um what they had they had um I want to say like horror movie stuff which I should have did that one but they had a whole bunch like you just have to kind of go through the lineup just type in um iron patches they got designer patches um luxury patches it just you got to be clever with your words whatever you're looking for but y'all definitely um this is so cute this could also be like a gift maybe if you know someone that's into purses and they like patchwork uh, maybe you can like make it something you know endearing you know something more personalized and you know do a patchwork you know purse for them so this is definitely something that could either be a diy um little project for yourself or it can be a gift to someone else but yeah, y'all, this is my purse. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm definitely gonna be rocking this, y'all, because y'all know I'm gonna give me a cute little, um, my little, um, guitar strap type of strap I'll be putting on my purses. Probably gonna put me, like, a cute little, um, see, I can't put nothing on it, but y'all, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna let this dry, and then I'm gonna kind of deck it out, and I'm gonna take a picture, and it's gonna be at the end of this video, or, I don't know, I might show it in a future video, because I'm so impatient. But yeah, I'll definitely probably try to show y'all how I accessorize it, and I'll probably have to do it with some of my purse, y'all know. And y'all, I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was very helpful. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.